Former NBA star player Jason Williams is joining us. I'm Patty Jackson. It is a pleasure to meet you because I've been a fan ah! you, <laughs> forever. Jason wrote the best book, Loose Balls, about being in the NBA. And just this, this wonderful, charismatic humor. And then your life took a drastic turn. Right. Now it's taking another turn. I want to talk about the journey okay. that you've been on because everything happens for a reason right. and you have to realize how God uses you right. in life. At the height of your NBA career, you would tell it all. This book was so <laughs> funny. You would do the late nights and you just had a way of telling a story right. that was amazing and life lessons. Did that come naturally? Uh, well, sitting around in South Carolina with my parents, you know, <laughs> my dad told a lot of stories. Yeah. And that's how, you know, everything was an analogy for me. Because he said, but that boy right there, he flicked it. You know, so I can't just tell him that way. <laughs> so we we got to tell him through a story. Yes. You know? So uh -huh. I know some of your favorite stories in the book, but I don't know if you remember this one. The one where Yanka Dare, who was from Nigeria, uh -huh. and uh, Derek Coleman. So one day, Derek Coleman was shooting a free throw, and we were in Minnesota playing and they had um, Christian Layton, remember? Christian Layton, yeah. big tall. Yeah. And, and, uh, and Yanko Dare would only speak to me. But he says, yes sir, yes sir. He says, what does the C on Christian Layton's jersey stand for? And I was like, oh man, I know what it stands for. You know, I stand for Cat, but I'm gonna see what he thinks. So I mm -hmm. said, oh, what do you think it stands for? And, and Derek Coleman was shooting the free throw to tie the game, no more time left. And, and he goes, Caucasian? And <laughs> <laughs> And Derek missed a free throw. Now, now he going to shoot another free throw, and and he go, woo wee. You hear uh, Benoit Benjamin go, woo wee. That nigga doorway so is silly, because you know he another rocket scientist. Go, don't you know Caucasian starts with a K? Oh God! <laughs> and, and, <laughs> oh gosh! Oh. You know what? It is so good seeing oh, you, you, and and there's nothing. All right, we all go through right. trials and tribulations mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. How is your life now, mm -hmm. after going through the incident with the limo driver, right. having to be incarcerated, right. your career ending, but you got some great things going on now? Yes, you know, um, it was tough. It was tough. I caused a lot of pain. You know, I had an accident with a, a limousine driver who we just hired for that night, and I had an accident, and what I'm most ashamed about is how I acted after. You know, I just took off my clothes, went and jumped in the swimming pool when I should have just stopped. And that's what I went to jail for, the obstruction of justice. When somebody, if I was around good people that see me and said, Jay, stop, you had an accident. But I just was reckless and then I act like a coward and I take full responsibility. Ms. Jackson, there's not an hour that goes by that I don't think about that day. And uh, it's been some tough times. So. How is it for you right now? It's a lot better. It's a lot better. From, from good friends like Charles Barkley, Charles Oakley, mm -hmm. Curtis Martin, uh, Chris Mullen. All these guys saw me drinking too much and couldn't get no sleep. And they came up to my cabin and whisked me out of there and put me down to South Florida and bought me the treatment there. And after 30 days, I came back home and said, uh-huh, no, we ain't risking this. You got to go back. So I went back down and I started rebound. A better solution. That's what it's called. And um, we've been there ever since, so we've been adding to what I was in treatment. So every day, Ms. Jackson, we do we do scuba diving, skydiving, indoor and outdoor. We do wave running. We do hydro boarding. We play golf. We do disc golf. We do 19 different things. A lot of fishing. A 19 different things, activities to break down barriers, overcome anxiety, build self-esteem, and uh, and then when you go back home, you have. 19 different things that you have never done now you're hopefully you're addicted to that because i suffer from alcohol and with this opioid epidemic that's going on right now and we got people from 18 to 71 in in there and then we go to clinic with yeah. the best you know psychiatrists and psychiatrists and uh and and and, and, and therapists and then we go to the gym so it's it, we work the whole thing and it's a faith based we have curtis martin the hall of fame okay. he teaches bible yeah. study on there on okay. wednesdays and uh, it's an active program, and we got a great success rate, and we got a big house on the yeah. water. And, 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 and 
a lot of people who look like us don't know that you can go to your job and to your EAP department and say, hey, I have a problem, you know, or your human resource department. They don't have to know what your problem is. You go get help like everybody else. Yes. We don't know that. So we had to make people aware of that. And it's okay to get help because I have a disease that you can go to jail for, you know, and I have a disease that tells me I don't have a disease. And there's such a stigma around alcoholism or drug use that, you know, even back in the church, people rather, I go to church on Sunday, some people rather you go to jail than go mm -hmm. to treatment because if you go to jail, they had a bad night. Yeah. If you go to treatment, it's the way it was raised, right? Yeah. So we got to be careful of that. And uh, I just, you know, most of the people that come down look like you and I, and that's hard because when I went to treatment, 400 people, it was only two people that looked, and they were both athletes. So wow. we got to get the word out. It is so good to hear Thanks. that your fellow athletes came and said, we're going to help you. We're going to help you get through this and help you get back on your feet. And when you do get back on your feet, you take the time to reach back and help others to get back on their feet. People don't want to talk about addiction. And you're seen as weak or you have not given a second chance at life. Because you become addicted to something doesn't mean that you're a bad person, a mean person. Addiction is a problem. And as they say, one day at a time, you take it one step one day at a time for what you're doing right now and helping others that's special thank you Jess. Just, uh, i love it i'm there 16 hours a day yeah. you know you if you call the hotline you're gonna get me or you're gonna, <laughs> you know small problem we only take seven people a month yeah uh, so they was great and i could be a guy once told me said you're gonna be a warning or you're gonna be an example i said i, I think i'm gonna be both i you think know? so too yeah. And this is going to be really good. Thank you. Zach. It is. You're going to I'm help just so big many fan people. Of yours. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see you. <laughs> we had a man here. We were clowning and just acting crazy today. How can people find out more about the center? Oh, you can call 1-877-2 Rebound. The number two Rebound. Okay. Or or you can go to reboundabettersolution.com. Rebound a better solution dot com. You should check it out. Jay said he is reaching out. He is helping others. What else do you see yourself doing? I would like to be the coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. I see. <laughs> I love what I'm doing. It's so yeah. hard to teach a kid a jump hook when I'm kids are teaching me how to save my life while I'm helping save theirs. Yes. So like when I pick up, pick I pick up every. We don't call them clients. We okay. call them teammates. Okay. So teammates. I pick up each and every teammate from the airport, and then we go into detail. The stories that you hear is yeah. is. I feel like I'm, I finally found my passion. Through God's grace is why yes. success rate is so hard. I can't get my children right yet because I'm old fashioned and me and uh, Charlie Mack and Sean, you see, we're just talking about that, is that I say, don't do it. Don't cross the street because it's dangerous over there. And they want to know why. And I'm just yeah. like, no, it's not. But I have been out of their lives for a little period of time. And they don't think I have enough time in the do so, But you send me somebody else's children, I get them better. So it's yeah. that life because of accountability. But, I would like to work with you. You need, you need a calls? <laughs> would you like to go home? I would love the calls. We have too. the same sense of humor. <laughs> and he is a natural for this. You you are. I used to love watching you during late night. Because you. You, you you could be the only guest. They'd be like, oh, we'll need them singing. We'll need them other people. We can just have you. So you you have a gift. Well, thank you. You know when David Letterman had his open heart surgery? Yeah. They called me and I was like, how are you doing? Like, you know what? You are the only person he's gonna let them see him. I'm like, what? I was like, he did. I didn't even he think he liked you. me. Yeah. Like, oh. But I'd be talking to him like this, yeah. and I'm strong, and his hair be shaking. And he's like, you can't. He's fragile. You can't shake him. And then, because well, I remember one time telling him because he had a big gap in his teeth. Mm -hmm. I said, man, I said, uh, you floss with boat rope, and it was on live <laughs> telling us, you know, we do we sit. So, and I said, yeah, you should put a sign in your mouth that said, next tooth. 14 miles. And, uh, and we used to just go on like that. So, everybody, you used to introduce me and go, here goes Jason Williams, and I'm not going to get another word in, so good night. And then he just yeah. sit back. He was such, he's such a good night. He's yeah. show now he's got his own show, Netflix. Yes, yes. My next guest needs no introduction. I would love to see you on there. We're going to put that out there. No, oh, but you've got, you've got a story to tell. And don't let a mis let let people stop you because you had a mistake in your life. Mm -hmm. Mistakes are to be learned. Nobody can take anything away from you that God has. For every no, if God deems it gonna happen, 
It's going to happen. And he uses us. He does. He uses us in a strange way. Three years ago, Jason had a stroke. I couldn't walk. My vision was messed up. I lost my entire right side. And as I cried in that bed saying, why me? I realized how clear it's him. You know, most people, they have stroke. Right. They, their vocals is messed mm-hmm. up. And I said, oh, I can talk. Okay. I said, God, get me out of this wheelchair. I'm going to spend the rest of my life telling people the importance of taking care of themselves because I wasn't. Well, I, I had my stroke two weeks mm-hmm. after my mother died. I wasn't taking care of myself. I can tell you emphatically because I had to be a mom and take care of my mom and still come to work and be happy. Mm-hmm. But me, I wasn't. I wasn't drinking water. I wasn't taking care of myself. And a vessel bust in my head. And I, you got to realize that and now it was a blessing because mm-hmm. it woke me up to my health and that because I could still talk, I said, God, you ain't finished. Right. You know, just because you went to jail, you're not finished. Right. You still got a story to tell. And there's still people that you can touch and that you can help. And you got to keep your eye on the prize. Oh, you might hear some news. Oh, you might hear some naysayers and all oh, what he was. No, you're still here. You're still funny. Now you're doing it and saving lives. I could not wait to see you. you. Google the loose balls. It's a book (laughs) and it's funny. I'm telling you, this he's got such a sense of humor in a way. It's a book. I'm not on the internet. I've never been on the internet, but be careful how you Google that. Okay, okay, okay. (laughs) Okay, loose ball, Jason Williams or loose balls, the book. It's a funny book. It's a funny, it's a funny book. It's just ah. I love you. Thank I love you. you. Too, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning us.